people are out here using MacBook Pros with the screens ripped out, and it's kind of genius. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to Denki Channel. My name is Ken. The other day I was scrolling through my YouTube recommendations and came across a video from our friend Lou over at Unbox Therapy, which was about people using MacBook Pros with the screens taken out as an interesting form of desktop computer. It's some parts weird, many parts clever, and got me wondering, why would anyone do this? First, let's get the cool factor out of the way. What's a decapitated MacBook Pro but a small four-factor PC running Mac OS? But unlike, say, a Mac Mini, which I know you were thinking of, all the peripherals you need for control are built right in. It's certainly an unconventional use of the precious surface area on your desk. But when you consider that lots of Mac owners tend to lean on Apple's own keyboards, mice, and trackpads for desktop anyway, the concept does not seem all that outlandish. Now, should you rip apart a perfectly working MacBook Pro and turn it into a hydraulic pressed Mac Mini? Probably not, but if you have a unit with a broken screen or find one at a reasonable price in the used market, a little bit of recycling and refurb can be your ticket to a unique desktop solution for your setup. And this guy is gonna be trying it for himself, for better or for worse. Probably worse. And so here we have a MacBook Pro to work on. This is specifically my old work computer. Old, not quite the word I should be using. It's a 2020 base M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. Of course, do as I say, not as I do. Probably shouldn't be doing this on a MacBook that's fully functioning and working, but I think that this will be a decent alternative to an M1 Mac mini, especially since I already have this one. I just wanna get my hands dirty and experiment a little. Little bit. Man, which bit do I use? I've been working for Overclock Media and Austin Evans for the better part of six years at this point. In that time, I've opened up a fair share of MacBooks. Granted, Austin usually did most of the work, but for me, I've opened up MacBooks, but I've never really done any tinkering, especially with the M1 models. Well, whoever opened this last, strip the screws. Boss man. As I almost scratched the back of the MacBook. <laughs> All right, and here we have our M1 MacBook opened up. Probably unscrew some stuff down here. I would imagine there's probably like ribbon cables and stuff. Unscrew the hinges. I mean, I would imagine that's probably most of it. I can probably go to an iFixit teardown or something, but I feel like I'm all about this trial and error process. And there it is. Half a MacBook. I'm gonna spend a few more minutes to just button this up and let's see if it works. If you aren't yet a part of our community and would like to join, hit subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified when new videos come out, and follow us on Twitter at Denki Channel. Okay, so I got the headless MacBook working, spent a full day using it, and now I have some thoughts, mostly good stuff, but there are some caveats. On the aesthetic front, I gotta be honest, the MacBook Pro almost looks better without the display. I mean, if less is more in the scheme of minimalism, this mod confirms it. I almost wish Apple would just sell us a desktop like this. Though, that's not a totally crazy thought, since the company apparently filed a patent suggesting that at least they're toying around with the idea. And especially with how small and efficient these M1 chips can get, Apple can certainly pull it off. Functionally, our modded Mac isn't different from using a normal laptop on your desk, which presents some pros and cons. I don't really need to go into much detail to tell you that the mod helps with cooling, if at the very least, not making it worse. At the core, ergonomics works surprisingly well, but power users might want to add some accessories for comfort during long sessions. Maybe something to prop up the MacBook at an angle for typing, or even a mouse to reduce strain. I highly recommend the MX Ergo, which I talked about in a previous video, along with some other cool tech to spice up your setup. If you're curious about that, I'll leave a link below or click on the card above. Key to integrating this modded MacBook Pro into your setup is also some planning to figure out your cable runs. Ideally, this is paired with a USB-C monitor with power delivery so that you can rely on one cable for everything. But if you plan on adding hubs or accessories, it's something to keep in mind if you're doing this in the scheme of keeping the aesthetics simple. 
If there's a drawback that I see with this whole thing, and it really is for modding Max in general, it's that your mileage will vary in terms of the consistency of the experience. While this screenless hack is reportedly popular in places like China, and is growing in curiosity out here in the West, documentation doesn't really exist. Now, the good news is that for the most part, the process underlying the mod follows the same basic procedures as a screen replacement. However, that's just for the hardware side. If you have any issues on software, you'll probably have to troubleshoot those on your own. In my particular case, the MacBook still thinks that the built-in display is connected, despite me taking out all of the connectors and the actual board that would make the computer think that. Now, it's not a big deal because you can just mirror your external monitor display in macOS to effectively ignore the issue. But this does make restart and logging in a little less than ideal at times. My best advice, if you plan on doing this on your own, plan ahead, make sure the device you're working on is functioning enough to use macOS with an external display, and follow guides like iFixit's screen replacement tutorial, which I'll link below. In my own ignorance for the sake of time and the production of this video, I did not do any of that. Even compromising my own safety and the integrity of the device at points. For shame. But if my dumbass can see success, I'd like to think that you can as well. That's all I got for this video. Let me know what you think about the headless MacBook mod in the comments below. And if you want to try this out for yourself, I'll leave as much helpful info as I can in the description. Thanks for watching this episode of Denki Channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.